Binky Rules took me by surprise. This episode I had no real recollection of from when I was younger, so I was kind of trying to solve the mystery alongside Fern and Buster. This is the first segment of the sixth episode of the third season of Arthur, and in this one, Binky is getting into a bit of trouble because he, well, somebody appears to be graffitiing Binky Rules on the walls of the school property, and Binky says it wasn't him, he didn't do it. And we quickly realise that that's the case, because while he's getting into trouble, somebody else does it again. And Fern and Buster kind of argue that they should be the one to try and solve it. Fern, because she solved... Well, I won't spoil it in case you haven't seen the episodes, but she solved a crime, in air quotes, previously, and Buster also solved um, the case of some missing money. And they decide to team up together, kind of reluctantly. They don't necessarily work well as a team to begin with, but there is a good message here about teamwork. And ultimately, it's all about finding out who has done this. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it. The outcome was not something I had predicted. I will say I feel like they could have left a few more clues or made it... I feel like if anybody has guessed that, then very well done to them, but I feel like... They should have left a few more clues so that it was at least a potential option, but it, it kind of wasn't. And I think they could... I'll, I'll, with a spoiler warning, I will explain explain that in a moment. But basically, it did take me by surprise, so while I feel like they could have left a few more clues, it certainly was a very interesting conclusion. I liked it. It was definitely quite different. I really like Binky as a character as well. It's a good segment and ties in nicely with the second one. Uh, which is called Meet Binky, and I will talk about that one separately, but together they go very well. So a spoiler warning, I'm going to explain who was doing the graffiti. The graffiti was done by a band called Binky, and yeah, I thought that was fairly interesting, and to begin with, we did get to hear the song, and they said they didn't know the name of the song, and that's fair enough, but they should have said, I don't know the name of the band. And then that would have been at least, in hindsight, you could see, oh, they planted that clue. We didn't pick up on it. But they didn't. And I feel like that was a massive oversight. Maybe as a younger viewer, as a child, I wouldn't have picked up on that. But certainly as an older viewer who is a very big fan of, of crime and, and, and mysteries, that's just, it's something that irked me a little bit. But nevertheless, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Wasn't expecting the outcome, so it kept me surprised at the end. Not when I remembered from my childhood, but as an adult, I rather liked it.